And hello folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Get my glasses on. Now, somebody asked me about the Soviet version of civil defense, and they had asked me some pretty good questions. Do I need a gas mask? And I told them, no, because unless you're in a heavily dense area, gas mask only lasts for four hours, and you have to know how to use them. Do not buy cheap military surplus. Best thing they're good for is maybe allergy season and a little tear gas, that's all. Now, from the Soviet point of view, their civil defense, you could use sur surgical mask, you could dare form an N95, you could use a military paint respirator or the first stage respirator, you could wear a hood type and you could use a homemade uh, whatchamacallit, like we did for the Red Dragon. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, simple means to protect respiratory system. Most people die in the first 30 to 40 minutes because they inhaled the dust, radioactive dust. These are alpha, beta, and gamma particles. People in a panic, calm them down, Make sure they have a handkerchief or cloth to cover over their face. All right. If you can, filter out these particles. All right. That's pretty good. Now, everybody been getting these last six months free from the government or at the grocery store. They were handing these out. So I got a bunch of these. So if you do see a nuclear bath, put that on. You only have like 30 minutes. Second of all, protection. Okay. Iodine tablets are not, all right, are not radiation pills. There's no such thing. That's from Russian to English, okay? Now, everybody should have a lightweight protective overalls, two piece with a hood, and gloves and radiation kit that's lightweight heavier ones are with the heavy boots gloves and it's a complete suit all right and this is again the lightweight assembled all right it's very easy and the bag is a gas mask container now improvised means of skin protection from alpha and beta and gamma radiation if protective suits are not available, all right? Overalls, okay? A simple trench coat or a poncho will be effective. Some kind of headgear if you cannot get a hood. Now, if you have a cheap, cheap military poncho can be used, all right? And let's see, before uh, washing, before washing, decontaminate clothing. It says stand on a tarp and brush with a brush every aspect of your clothing from toe to bottom. And it should any particle should be on the tarp. Before removing the clothes, fold the tarp in half, stand on that half fold, remove your contaminated clothes, making sure again, brushing everything off and put the contaminated clothes into the bag for, decontamin for decontamination and reuse because you're going to have to go outside again. Smarter the Russians. Okay. Do not use hot water. Uh, synthetic detergent and cold water is used for washing. All right, and let's see. Yeah, uh, a good example, uh, I prepare it ahead of time, uh, wash, clean off, dry off, make sure everything is, uh, let's see, from underwear to summer clothes is in a separate bag ready for uh, decontamination, okay? Um, overalls and stuff 
that can be cleaned or decontaminated must be do do uh, children must be covered in flannel or wool blankets to protect themselves. Women should wear trousers. Uh, remove uh, what you might call it, high heels, wear flat shoes, or boots or booties or, or coveralls for shoes. Well, that's from the Soviet side, folks. Makes sense. Uh, makes sense. Very simple. And do not use hot water. Okay? I read through the book. They said do not use hot water. Lukewarm or cold is the best. Use a liquid detergent to wash off yourself and rinse. Okay? Water may not be a available. And they say use a sprayer. Like a garden sprayer used in the garden, but write down for de de decontamination use. One with a soapy mixture, one with water to clean you off. Okay? Afterwards, you have your contaminated clothes in a sealed bag, and then you have your, what you're standing on before you take the shower, the tarp rolled up, and it'll be placed away from the shelter and shaken out to be reused again. Okay? This is simple. It doesn't, it's not rocket science. Okay. It says remain in the shelter for up to two weeks. Be sure you have proper filtered air. Blast shelters only protect you from the heat and blast. It has no effect on the fallout. Okay. And they said when you're filtering air, you should have a made filter and then you should have a professional filter and make sure from center means it's about six inches anything small you're risking the chance of suffocation or built up toxic gases in the shelter it says make sure your shelter is protected you have enough room to do bodily functions and waste and stuff and exercise they said two weeks that you may be sealed in the the structure until it's safe to go outside. Always monitor your radio and your detection units. Write down the time of day when you make the tests. And they have a whole chapter on detecting radiation from outside. And this is just local civil defense for the people living in the country, not in the cities like New York, but simple stuff. Brush off the particles. Have some means so you don't inhale the particles and you have a place for two weeks that you're safe from fallout and radiation plus heat and blast. It's simple. All right. They show, I, I don't have the time and I don't have the equipment, how the Russians do it. And they have wonderful things. They have it easy. It's either dry, canned, or uh, what you might call it, wrapped properly. All right. The main concerns of that is water and waste disposal. And they quoted how much water a person used. Okay. And how much they use for waste. All right. They also tell a lot of people you have to separate liquid waste from solid waste. Okay. Like I said, in the old days, the Soviets really did went overboard in the 70s on protecting their population because they were afraid. All right, so let's take advantage of this. If you live in the New York area, I would dig these out from the COVID thing just in case you don't want to inhale fallout particles. On the gas masks, you have to buy brand new. And remember, those filters only last you four hours because of moisture, uh, particles and stuff. You have to also dispose of them carefully because you're collecting all that stuff. All right. And three, iodine pills are not radiation pills. Even the Russian wrote it down. It's for goiter for radioactive iodine. All right. So understand that. Do not take it ahead of time. Even the Russians say that. Okay. And know what you're doing. 
best thing I would recommend is leave Washington DC and New York at all. All right, if the Russians went totally ballistic and not an airburst and they hit the Satan one, that's a 50 megaton bomb. All right? If you're in that blast zone, you're roasted, you're fried, you don't have to worry. If it's an airburst, that's a whole nother thing. All right? I watched the New York PSA. It's like it's the most stupidest thing. The Russians had it good. All right? You go to the lower levels of your basement. Make sure you have food and water with you. Take canned food because that's the most protective of all three. That's dry, canned, and what's available in 1970s or 60s. And you go down to the lowest point of your building. They say that buildings may suffer structural damage. Stay away from windows and breezy places because... You know, you don't want to get a shower full of glass and you don't want to get exposed to radiation. And they said the biggest thing you have to worry for the next two weeks is inhaling re radiation. So that's with the mask, folks. Okay, and I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. And remember, simple things save your life. And if you have a poncho or a pair of overalls, I just look on Amazon. They have the Zintec overalls with booties 12 bucks so check out do your own research all right this is why i tell people this is why uncle on goes over old texts and books and i'll see you later you have a nice day i just finished helping my friends install a fence and hopefully i'll get a shot of it it's, I live in the suburbs in, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, HAC, and we're all neighbors, and we all watch our backs, and we're talking about improving our situation and upgrading stuff while not making it ugly. We're not putting out barbed wire fences and chain link. Hell no. We have to live here. We want to look normal. All right, folks. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.